Hi there everybody and welcome back to ASFC Chemistry. In this video I'm going to take you through how to number and then name some simple alkanes but all the while keeping an eye out for how we need to make sure we've not numbered the longest continuous carbon chain incorrectly. If you need to look at the general naming system then I suggest you look at one of our other videos but if you found that you're constantly missing out on identifying that longest continuous carbon chain then this could be the video to help you fix that. Now in order to analyse this particular aspect of naming alkanes in more detail I'm going to be focusing on this particular molecule and then we'll look at how the others relate to it. So to get started with this, what I'm going to do is just draw out my longest chain that I can see currently on the molecule and I'm going to put my little side group here like that as well and then they're missing off my molly mod kit but I'm going to put in all the hydrogens into the structure at the top. The structure style that I've gone for in the top molecule is a combination of displayed and structural formula. It's not exclusively one type of formula. Once I've done this, I can then go through the molecule and number each carbon in the longest continuous chain. I also need to identify what position that CH3 group, that methyl group is, on the longest continuous chain, as exactly which carbon it appears to be on is going to be absolutely crucial to the front end or the prefix section of my organic molecule's name. Here we can see because I've got a six carbon longest continuous chain and the methyl group is on position three, my molecule is called 3-methylhexane. Sometimes, however, it's not quite as straightforward. Consider these two molecules, for instance. The top one is the one we've just been studying, so let's move it out of the way for a moment. Let's have a look at this one at the bottom and name it using the same system that we've just studied. So I'm going to redraw the molecule to get started with in a combination of displayed and structural formulae. I'm going to find my branch, I'm going to find my longest continuous chain, and I'm going to name this structure. Let's see what happens, though. So absolutely everything looks fine until we rearrange the molecule a little bit. Now I'm not breaking any bonds with this whatsoever, I'm just going to spin things a little and you'll notice that we've actually ended up back at the molecule we started out with in the first demonstration of the naming. So 2-ethylpentane is completely the wrong name for this molecule. In fact, it's got exactly the same name we were looking at before, 3-methylhexane. It's just the arrangement of the carbons in the chain when it was shown on the page and in the molly mod kit sort of led us to believe that it was going to be a different longest continuous carbon chain. The only way to find this out is to always double check your structures and count out in multiple directions where your longest chain might be. What I'm going to do for you now is show you how we could have numbered the original layout of the molecule as we were presented it on this slide, showing that in order to find the longest continuous chain, we actually needed to start our numbering system from the top of the molecule here, and then going all the way through into the right, 
allows us to find that longest continuous chain of six carbons. The only way that we were meant to know how to do this is through experience of double checking and considering all possible routes through the molecule to find that longest continuous chain of carbon atoms. I want to carry on the theme a little of how molecules can look very different with how they're drawn on the page, but actually end up all being the same as each other. And these three reflect that idea very well. With a little bit of rearrangement and twisting of these structures, without breaking any bonds whatsoever, I can always end up back at the 3 methyl hexane. This one, for example, at first glance, looks like a four carbon chain with a three carbon branch. But with a little bit of twisting and rearrangement, we end up back at the three methyl hexane. Always make sure you check for that longest continuous chain. On this page, I'm going to show you how we can number the longest continuous carbon chain using skeletal formula for all the different representations of the 3 methyl hexane that I've used so far. For this example to the top left hand corner, you can see that I'm initially numbering it from top through to the right hand side. However, what I now do with the blue pen is go back through and number the exact same chain, but in the opposite direction. And the reason I do this is because I need to keep the low cant number that tells me the position of the methyl group as low as possible. And in the original numbering system, it was a four, but with this blue numbering system, it's a three, giving it a three methyl in its name, not four methyl. This is very important in organic chemistry. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you learned the importance of numbering the longest continuous carbon chain and checking to see if you've got the lowest low count number combination possible. Click the links on screen now to be taken to more videos from our channel and don't forget to subscribe to stay updated with all our new content. Until next time, happy revising!